just going to be a breakdown video of how to do crazy eights. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to do eight drop spins on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're going to go ahead and do um, double time, um, two-handed double time, and you're going to do eight counts of double time. So you have bottom, bottom, top, top, bottom, bottom, top, top, bottom, bottom, top, top, bottom, bottom, top, top. And so that's gonna be your eight counts. So it's gonna go one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're gonna go ahead and go back in to eight counts of drop spins. So it's from eight, you have and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're gonna go into um, one-handed double time. So it'll go one, two, three, four, bottom, top, bottom, top. Now, um, the reason why it's called crazy eights is because we're gonna repeat all four sets one more time for a total of eight sets. So you'll go from the top back into your drop spins and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're gonna go into your double time, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're gonna go back into your drop spins. Make sure that when you do that spin, that you're not lifting up so much. So when I go in from the, the two-handed double time, I try to keep it at my spin spot um, and not lift it up. So I do the two-handed double time, then I go back into my eight counts of drop spins, and then from there, I'm gonna do eight counts of the one-handed double time. So it'll look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. From here, I'm gonna flip to the bottom, seven. And then from there, I'm gonna do a full stop and eight. And then, um, just like I said before, make sure that whenever you're doing that, that um, you're keeping it at as close to your spin spot as possible when you do that. And that's going to help you make sure that not only you um, maintain your timing, but you also maintain the control of your rifle. Um, if you don't know how to do um, drop spins, two-handed double time or one-handed double time, go ahead and check out my um, other videos. My links will be um, in the description box below. Um, and um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment below. Um, and I can always make a separate video on like tips and tricks. The big thing with um, going from one spin, like one set of spins to another spin, is making sure that you're really thinking about engaging your muscles. Um, if you don't engage your muscles, then you're most likely gonna lose control of your rifle. So um, my advice to you is make sure that you're working on those three separate skills and making sure that you're trying to maintain your control um, not only with your rifle, but also obviously with your posture as well. Um, make sure that you maintain your control on that. Um, and then 